It's wonderful to be here with you today. My name is Thaddeus McOtter. I am currently, and most importantly, a husband to my wife Rita, a registered nurse, and the father to our three children. But one of the reasons that I'm honored to be with you today is because I've also always been a Republican. I entered the party at the precinct delegate level. I was then entrusted with the responsibilities to be a local chair, to be a county chair, to be honored by the people like you, who are the heirs of people who have championed human freedom from Abraham Lincoln through Ronald Reagan. And that is why I seek the presidency of the United States. Because in this very difficult period of time, where Americans are very concerned that they are being alienated from the very institutions that are supposed to represent them, when they feel and ask the question, do we matter anymore? We as Republicans have to affirm that the answer is yes. Because as in other critical periods of time in the life of this nation, it has been the Republican Party that has arisen, that has helped to awaken America, that has helped to transcend the challenges. And it will be no different for this generation of Americans. So I do not come here today as a fellow Republican to comfort you. I come here today to challenge you. To challenge you to deal with the problems of globalization which are creating chaos in people's lives so they can transcend them and again pursue their happiness. I challenge you to help support our men and women in the field that in this time of war and stagnation are defending your liberty by expanding it to others abroad. I challenge you to face up to the reality that for this generation, the People's Republic of Communist China is a strategic threat and rival model of governance in the same way that the Soviet Union was to past generations of Americans. And finally, I ask you, I challenge you, to stand up for the concept of self-government. And I will admit one thing to you now, that when I issue this challenge, I have absolutely no doubt that you will accept it. And that when we are completed with healing America and moving us back to the path of exceptionalism we have inherited and will bequeath to our children, future generations will look back and they will thank you for being as wide awake as Republicans as they were in 1860 or as they were in 1980. Thank you, people of New Hampshire, my fellow Republicans. God bless you.